गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट दिस एक्सरसाइज ऑफ यूनिट नंबर 6 टेस्टिंग वेब एप्लीकेशन फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग फॉर इंटरनेट स्टूडेंट्स क्लास सो इंट्रोडक्शन वेब एप पेजेस एंड वेबसाइट्स हैव बिकम इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन इंक्लूड ऑनलाइन वेबसाइट्स लाइक स्कूल एंड कॉलेजेस वी हैव ऑस्ट्रेड ऑन द इंटरनेट वी मे विजिट अ वेबसाइट एंड मे सी ऑटो प्रमोट दिस वेब एंड एंटर इट इन टू द एप्लीकेशन द फाइनली ऑफ वेब एप्लीकेशन नाउ गेट्स टू द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन Users ability to guide and provide activities, function, etc. So compromises in any of these parameters may control the testing data and may also be compromised by them. So testing these web pages is not only done in challenge because conventional testing techniques may not be directly applicable. So let us see what is the what is the web testing. So main point of web testing or web analysis is not only to find the common software errors, but also to test associated quality related to this data specifically. we should know before going to testing the web what is the architecture and what are the key areas of web application to effectively plan and execute the testing so web application versus client server architecture so mostly the web applications are developed in the form of client server architecture in that the client server is installed on each client machine that provides user interface the client server connects to server machine which serves the client by providing resources to other machine also in client server architecture the functionality of an server so this is the first background is called as a client server architecture so let us take the example of two client architecture as the client server architecture is nothing but we may recite a business function a logic on a recites on a server machine and user interface may recite on a client machine so database may be either recite on client machine or the server so business logic can produce better for the web application based on input given by the user this architecture is known as the two tier But the web applications may consist of multiple web servers and database servers. So these applications need not only web browsers to be installed on the client machine. The web browser is software program that recites and interprets and presents information to the client in the desirable format. So web application that takes on a three-tier architecture that is called as a web-based application. In three-tier architecture, clients may internet, web server, and database server. In three-tier architecture, the applications are partitioned into three separate So partition means is that presents changes changes in one tier do not have any effect on the other tier. The advantage of three-tier architecture includes less step required for the client machine, automatic upgradation of software and robustness, and the same for robustness. So we will let us see the difference between these two client and server architecture. So client server architecture application is called as a two-tier application, but web-based application is called as a three-tier application. the client server is additional software needs to be installed but in web based application no additional software need to be installed only a web browser is required in client server application it is an expensive activity then web based application it is a cheaper as compared to client server application the client server application is supports a limited number of users but a web based application have supports an unlimited number of users so in client server the users are well known but in web application any user can log in and access the content so client server application is manageable security issues but the security issues are in web applications are critical and complex in nature the client server application is less robust as if one server fails the client request cannot be fulfilled but in web based it is robust as compared to client server applications in client server application more resources are required on the client side but in web based application fewer resources are needed on the one side so let us take one example of the web based application process so let us take the example of students known to his or result on the call, uh, university website so which steps are required to make to get the result students as a request for the client application on the web browser installed so first the student request the client application that request to the web browser install the client application then sends the request to the web server the web server incorporating business logic queries the database server the database server returns the student marks in all the subject the web server performs all calculations to generate the final marks the web server returns the final marks to the client application and the client application displays the final marks to the student so this is the basic view diagrammatically representing the web based process where student as a client application requesting the final marks sheet to the university website and to the web based application 
the client can get this the satisfied uh, required information as per he get the marks so key areas in testing web applications so web applications are difficult and complex as compared in traditional client server applications <coughs> client server applications they are required to be tested on different browsers and various platforms it is important and critical to identify the areas that need special focus while testing a web application so special focus are given related to the testing for is nothing but functionality usability browser compatibility security load and press storage and database <coughs> storage and database so there are numerous issues that are need to be considered that are specific on web application hence only a subset of conventional testing techniques are applicable for testing the web application so let us see the first part is area of web application is nothing but functional testing functional testing involves checking of the specified functionality of the web applications the functional test case for web applications may be generated using boundary value analysis equivalence class testing decision table testing and many other techniques so let us take the example take the example of e-commerce applications sell products such as computers mobile phones cameras electronics etc so uh, for each item list name quality price and brief description is required it also display an image of the item the user may browse through the product and search any product by its name, price, or any other descriptive keyword. The user is required to register on the website to obtain access to the online shopping cart. So, common tool is user to place an order for the online. So, according to that form of the e-shopping mail, here for testing the web application, we need to create the test cases corresponding to addition, deletion, and updation in the online shopping cart as present. So these are the test cases we need to generate for addition, deletion, and updation in the following shop cases. First test case, we need to search the product gallery to decide which item we need to purchase. Then input is we give the string and display the items according to the search is match. Okay. So test case two is register on the website to place an order. First, we need to provide login ID, password, confirm the password, and we need to give the sh shipping details that is city address. State code, zip code, uh, street, state, all these things. So, as per the information entered in, validate the user registration successfully. Otherwise, an appropriate error message will be displayed. So, in this way, we need to create the test cases for the addition, updation for the online shopping cart which is present on the website. So, next part is the user interface testing. So, user interface testing is test the user interaction features work correctly or not these features include hyperlinks tables forms frames user interface items such as text field radio button check boxes list boxes combo boxes command buttons and dialog boxes this user interface testing is basically used to check the forms what you are creating those are publishing on a web based application user interface testing ensures that the application handles mouse and keyword events correctly and display hyperlinks tables frames buttons menu dialog Toolbars properly. So, user interface testing is basically divided into three parts. Navigation testing. Navigation testing investigates the proper functioning of all the internal and external links. Means here need to check whatever the hyperlinks provided for the various tables and if those are working or not. Navigation testing must be ensured that website provides the consistent, well organized links and should also provide alternative navigation schemes such as search options and site maps. So according to those best, we need to create the test cases for online shopping websites. We need to mention that address ID is being mentioned. As per the input, we need to check the expected, what is expected outcome and what is desired result. So test cases for such things are nothing but all the links on each web pages. So inputs is we need to provide the links, home, about us, gallery, contacts. Appropriate web pages open with the respective link or not. Test case to click on all links on each web pages. So test case appearance of content on each web pages. So link provide upon that home about us, product gallery, contact us, registration, shopping cart, order status and feedback. And appropriate expected outcome is what the appropriate horizontal and vertical scroll bars are present and the user can view the pages properly. So in this way, we need to create the test cases for testing the user. The form. Then second part 
form by Sarah Bhakti. So after designing of the forms, websites need to include the form, need to ensure that all the fields in the forms are filled properly or not. Means all the forms are working working properly or not. The form based testing is basically involves the three issues. First, proper navigation from one field of the form to the another using the tab key ensures that the data entered in the form must be valid format and check that all the mandatory fields are entered in the form. Means whenever we are going to provide any information before going to that, the testing we need to test whatever we design the form, that form must be need to enter the valid data. Mandatory fields are must be filled by a customer or not. We need to be checked. And whatever navigation we provide, it go through one by one field by using the tab key. So let us take the example. This is one of the first login page registration form of the user interface testing. Here we need to provide first user ID password. Then we need to provide repeat password. Then we need to provide personal details and ship to address. So according to that case, designing of the page, we need to create the test cases for the registration form of online registration form. So we provide test case ID, description, inputs, and expected outcome. So inputs is nothing but text. Description check maximum and minimum length of all the fields of the form. That is nothing but login ID, password, confirm password. It must be text some maximum number of characters only. Its length should be fixed. Boundary value should be identified. Then check data validation of all the fields means before going, we cannot empty any single uh, text field. Before going to go in next filling the value, it should be give the message for user. You cannot put the value as an empty. You need to provide the value proper format of the user ID and password. So in this way, in a testing, we can test the user interface process. And third part is the user interface testing checklist. A user interface testing checklist may provide the opportunities for tester to ensure the proper functioning of user interface features such as hyperlinks, tables, frames, buttons, menus, toolbars, dialog boxes, and error messages. So according to that checklist, we need to create. Checklist is nothing but we just specify the description as per the testing remark. And just as per the availability, we need to mention the remark as yes, no, and not available. So prepare the questionnaires under the checklist related to hyperlinks like are the links are meaningful, are there any broken links, do all the internal links work properly, do all the external links work properly, are all links to external sites in the website tested, are images correctly hyperlinked, can the user navigate using text only, does every hyperlink exist on the sitemap, are the hyperlinks colors standard, does the link bring the user to the correct web page or not. So these things are mentioned under the user interface testing. So next part is the usability testing. So you, what is the usability testing? Usability is one of the quality attributes that a web application must possess. It is important to develop a website that is easy to use. Whenever the user browse an online shopping website, several questions may come to his or her mind. What is the creditability and reputation of website? Are shipping charges applicable or not? In how many days a product will be delivered? Is there any guidance how to place an order? In case of any problem, there are grievance readdressal mechanism. These kind of usability issues are faced by everyone who tries to purchase an item from an online shipping website. So under such situations of critical compatibility, the testing we need to check the usability testing concept. So usability testing is nothing but usability is a concern with the degree to which the software fulfills the user specification and expectation. It is the measurement of the amount of satisfaction of the user. It also access the constraint to which the user finds the software easy to use, learn and understand. Usability can be divided into one or more attributes such as accuracy, efficiency, completeness, Learn ability, satisfaction, clarity, accuracy of online help and written documentation. So according to these attributes, accuracy is nothing but it satisfies the degree to which websites meet the user needs in the first instance and correctness. It is only the purpose to correctness and quickness of use of websites by user. It is generally measured in terms of time. Completeness, the extent to which websites implement specific functions. 
learnability to find things where I believe to insert things for some of the things on the site. And that is actually the way to the user to look for nothing about the website. It is usually capture to a questionnaire or survey. Users are more likely to use websites for Shopify than websites compared to other ones. So as per the usability part, it will be implemented to the following step. That is in step, it is implemented able to perform it in relation to each and panel. So first part is identification of participant. It is important for us organization to identify the characteristics of participant in the group. Then characteristics will include the age, gender, profession, education, experience. Then second part is development of usability testing questionnaire. This step involves the preparation of a questionnaire for conducting usability testing. A usability testing test can specify the three different set of tasks the participant are expected to follow. Preparation of questionnaire is an important activity in which we take into consideration the usability features of the web application. The participant's feedback and interactions are recorded in a questionnaire. And third step is called as a setting up environment for conducting test. This step involves deciding and setting up the location for conducting usability test. The decision of location and setup is based on various factors such as whether the tester interacts with the user is required or not, whether enough space is available at the developer or tester site in order to conduct usability test, if the location of site is easily accessible to target participants. What requirements will be required for conducting the test? How many participants and observer will be required? Will the identity of the organization results in a bench of results? What is the availability of participants? Is the testing required at multiple geographic locations? So based on the above issues, different testing setup environments. Setup environments may be selected. Then next part conduct the test. This step consists of execution of usability testing. <coughs> and the last is analyze the result and observation. The process of generation of usability testing report involves organizing, summarizing, and analyzing the collected data. So this report contains a summary of user preferences, list of errors and difficulties encountered, identification of custom and trends, 